Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Silverstone SFX series 450 watt. So this is the ST45SF-G SFX power supply. So this is a small power supply for cases such as the FTO3 Mini. I mean, look how small it is. It's adorable. Look at this thing. It's like the cutest thing ever. See, Slick came all the way over here to see it. You're supposed to be working, Slick. It's like half the size of a regular ATX power supply. Fully freaking modular, by the way. 80 plus gold, by the way. This thing's awesome. It's got a single 80 millimeter cooling fan back here, which is fine because it's only 450 watts and it's 80 plus gold. And it's fully mo oh man, this thing's so cool. Okay, let's take out the uh, okay, take out the cables. Comes with an SFX to ATX adapter, just in case you wanted that for whatever reason. Uh, although usually, if I was buying an SFX power supply, I would buy it to go with my SFX case. Uh, let's have a look at what they've got on here in terms of specs. So 80 plus gold is pretty close to 90 plus. It's like 90% optimal. So that's at about 50% load and it lower it goes at the lowest about 87% load. So realistically you're going to get anywhere from around 88% eh, to 89% uh, uh, efficiency out of it. Power single, powerful single 12 volt rail. Perfect for high end component upgrades. So yes, you can run a real graphics card off this thing. Check that out. One modular cable harness. Oh, look at these. Look at this cable sleeving. I think this is the high end, highest end cable sleeving I've seen pre-installed on a power supply. This is outstanding. You can hardly see the color at all. This has yellow cables, but you you like you can't see it at all, even if you bend it back. Oh, this thing's awesome. Okay, moving right along. Um, perfect for blah blah blah. Yeah, so right, so there's a six pin and a six plus two pin, so you can put a high end graphics card on it. 100% modular cable design for easy removal in, in a case with the cable routed and tied down. This is incredibly important with those small and cramped cases. Instead of pulling all the cables out of everything to pull it out, you can just go clip, 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 take it out. You know, maybe even, okay, heaven forbid, you know, knock on wood, the power supply dies and you got to RMA it. This is a lot easier than undoing it from everything, especially in those tiny, tiny cramped cases. Plus or minus 3% regulation and low ripple and noise performance for high stability. This is good. These are all good things. And where is our actual spec here? So 37 amps on the 12 volt rail. Almost the entire 450 watt output can be done on the 12 volt rail. This is optimal for high end graphics card configurations. Operating temperatures, a 0 to 40 C. That's pretty aggressive. Okay, that's good. Um, and then, right, so let's have a look at the included stuff. So you got a 20 plus 4 pin connector. Okay. Very, very short cable. I mean, this is not meant to be installed in a Corsair 800D or, or rather, I should, okay, okay, shouldn't be talking about Corsair cases. I'm looking at Silverstone power supply here. So not for a Silverstone TJ11, for example, because it just would not reach. Okay, this is meant for small cases. Uh, next, we've got a four plus four pin connector for the CPU. This one's a little bit longer because the positioning of that connector can vary a fair amount on these uh, on these small form factor cases. It really depends, like sometimes it'll be here or here or here or, or wherever else. You should be able to reach it just fine. This is an adequately long cable for that purpose. Uh, we've also got a harness with three SATA connectors and let's have a look at the length of that one. I'm curious because I will be doing a build with this power supply soon in the FTO3 Mini. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's pretty good. So you've got, you know, there's a couple drives that are next to each other right there. I like that short run distance between them. And then this is like an auxiliary one like somewhere else. And then finally, you've got a harness with two Molexes and one floppy connector in case you still have any four pins in your case. Standard power cable, nothing to see here. Four black screws for installing in your case. And the power supply itself. So there's your Silverstone 80 plus gold, gold colored branding over here. This thing is Awesome. Silverstone stamped logo on the top. Silverstone really is probably the most underappreciated brand of power supplies in North America. I mean, they have fantastic stuff like the Strider 1500 watt was way ahead of its time with 1500 watts, 80 plus silver, which at the time was a huge deal and uh, fully modular. Like there's nothing else like it. And it just seems people didn't get adequately excited about it. I already showed the 80 millimeter cooling fan, the honeycomb mesh at the back for more cooling. And I think that pretty much covers it. If you want 450 watts of like power in your hand, then this is probably the way to do it. Or better yet, you could install it in your computer case. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.